younger guy is seven years old and he is just doing Guru Puja every day and this is all stuff which I tried but never managed to teach them. So I'm very excited he's learned how to do all this. The other guy, the nine year old, in his case, uh, the huge mark change I find is he was a very introverted, frightened kind of boy. And now he's become this big extrovert, talks to everybody all over the ashram. I'm like shocked. Uh, he's still, you know, I do see him from time to time, but mostly he knows all these new friends all over the place and he just wants to wander around, sit under the banyan tree, go see cows. I mean, it's just an incredible experience, which I am pretty sure could not have been done any, anywhere else in the world. I see my son is so quiet now. I feel as if he's somehow matured all of a sudden. And he's alive. It's like before he comes to me to give a hug, it's like he's worried about the social conditions where he is and all. Even that hug he used to come because he wants attention from me. But now he just comes joyfully wherever I am, gives a hug and just runs. It's like he's just he's just expressing himself. Just that love. I really enjoyed those moments here. Right now I see my own two kids. To say I don't see them any stress. They work from morning six to till at least 9 30 10. specifically yoga i have to say that i've been observing the kids and how amazingly flexible they are and how available they are they don't give themselves limitations and that i think actually teaches them in life how limitless it is so what i've noticed he he's a very giving uh, child he was he used to give objects and things like that to his friends but now I notice he likes to offer to serve food and to give more of uh, his time and service. Um, I also noticed um, when uh, he was doing Pada Puja, he was uh, silent, he was uh, watching uh, what's happening inside him, which is uh, something uh, very unusual for a child who is full of energy. She really loved and she really had a uh, great exposure to the Vedic culture and also being around these Gurukul kids and being around with the other kids that really gave her a lot more, you know, greater dimension. My son, for example, he was very anxious and uh, he's generally very shy. And um, at the end of the uh, 21 days, and he performed in front of everybody, and that's a big deal. And he also moved um, everywhere, you know, all, all through the ashram, he was roaming around and he was not afraid. He knew his way through and um, I couldn't believe it because he was very clingy and he would not leave my side otherwise. This boy was so much interested in exchanging autographs and photographs of the actors. Now he is doing that with Swamiji's photographs, such a big transformation. And the other thing, Whenever he wakes up in the morning, in few minutes he's fresh and then he starts singing all the Shiva songs and the Nityanandam Sutras and everything while taking shower, getting ready. And I'm like, wow, the real being is popping out of him slowly and slowly.